the median is another measure of center and this one is not going to have that pulling effect that we were seeing on the mean or that I was telling you about on the mean where if you have a big number that's kind of away from the rest of the numbers, we call that an outlier. But if we have an outlier, the, the arithmetic average or the mean is pulled towards that outlier. But here with a median, we aren't going to see that. The median is the middle number in a set of data. So the middle number, Okay, and to find that middle number, we have to first order the values, and you can do them least to greatest or greatest to least, it doesn't matter, but I just wrote down here to write, write the numbers least to greatest. Then the median is the data value that's in the middle of the data set. If you happen to have an odd number of data values, you'll have one value that's in the middle. If you happen to have an even number of data values, when you cross off from each end, you'll end up with two numbers in the middle, and you just take the average of them. And that's what we're showing here. Take the average of the two middle numbers, so mid one plus mid two divided by two, and that'll give you your med median. And we can use a capital M to signify the median, whether it's from a population or a sample, it won't matter. So find the median of the given data set. This looks familiar, that's what we did our, our mean on. And the mean, remember, the X bar was eight. And the median is also going to be eight because this data is already ordered and we would just cross off one on each end and voila, we have our median right there in the middle. Let's look at another problem. Find the median of the given data set. First thing I want to do is list out my data, smallest to largest. And I see two and then three. So I'm going to write those first. And then I see five, seven, eight. So I'm going to write those. And then 12 and 13. So I'll write those, 12, 13. And now I do the crossy crossy deal. So here I'll cross off one from each end and then another from each end and then another from each end and I'm left with a seven in the middle. So my capital M is going to be seven. So it looks like I have another data set here. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight data items, so it looks like I'm going to have to do an average of the two middle items, but first I have to put them in order. So we'll put them in order. It looks like I have three, four, five, six. Cross all those off. Three, four, five, six, and then eight, 12, 13, 13. And that'll be everything. 8, 12, 13, 13. And then I will just cross off from each end until I find the middle. And this one we expect to have two in the middle, so don't cross them off before you realize where you are. But it looks like I have 6 and 8 in the middle, so I just do 6 plus 8 divided by 2, or I can think what's the average of 6 and 8. And I know that's 7, but I can also find it by this formula. 6 plus 8 will give me 14 over 2, which again is a 7. So 7 is my median, so I'm going to label it with a capital M, and I'm ready to look at the last problem. This one is just using a scenario and giving some data, but other than that, it's still finding a median just like what we did above. So go ahead and try that one out and then see what I got. So pause the video and give it a shot.